In the previous video, we looked at remix route files. In this video, we will look at route folders. By the end of it, you will be able to better organize your code by collocating modules, simplifying imports, and automating code organization. Let's get started. We are in the project from uh, route files in remix video, where we created flat route files for the project. Let's refactor the file structure to add folder organization to the routes. In the app folder, we have a routes folder where all our routes are located and each TSX file is a route. Let's start with refactoring index route into its own folder. For that, we need to first create a new folder called underscore index. And we will just drop that TSX, obviously. So now let's go ahead and move underscore index dot TSX into this underscore index folder. And finally, we need to rename the index dot TSS to the route dot TSX. Let's do the same for about and contact routes. So again, create a new folder called about. We'll move underscore about the TSX into the about folder. And we will go ahead and rename about that TSX into route that TSX. All right, the same for contact route. So create contact folder, move contact that TSX into contact folder and rename contact that TSX into route that TSX. The advantage of route folders is that you can collocate modules and components the route needs. Let's go ahead and create a contact hyphen header.txx file in the contact folder. From the route.txx, we are going to go ahead and take the contact form header. So we'll go all the way right here and cut it out. Now in a contact header.txx, we're going to create a contact header component. Let's go ahead and put export default function contact edit. And we're going to go ahead and return it, put context, and we will put the header right here. Let's go ahead and click save. Now in the route.tsx in a contact folder where we cut out the header, we will put contact header and we're going to import it from the contact header.tsx. Let's go ahead and save as well. Now let's head to the browser and as you can see index, about and contact routes, they still work as they used to after our refactoring. The folders directly beneath app routes will be registered as a route. Deeply nested folders are ignored, and this is what you may want. However, if you have a large app, it's not uncommon to have routes nested many levels deep. For example, we may want to have dashboard routes to have a deep nasty. Remix doesn't support this out of the box. To do that, you need to install package Remix flat routes. According to its documentation, Remix flat routes will always maintain compatibility with the default Remix convention. This package is simply a superset extension of the core convention. Let's go ahead and install this package. In the terminal, let's do npm install d Remix flat routes. It's going to be installed as a dev dependency. After installing the package, we need to configure it in Remix config. So let's go ahead and open Remix config file. And we're going to import flat routes from Remix flat route. After ignored flat routes files property, we're going to put routes property and assign it async define routes function. Let's go ahead and save Remix config file. Now we are ready to refactor our dashboard files. Let's start with a dashboard.tsx. In the routes folder, 
we're going to create a dashboard folder. We're going to move dashboard.csx into the dashboard folder. And then we're going to rename this dashboard.csx into underscore layout.csx. Now let's create a new folder in the dashboard folder and call it underscore index. And then we're going to move dashboard underscore index.csx into this underscore index folder. So let's rename this file to route.csx. Let's go to the browser and check if the dashboard route is still working, and it is. Remix Flat Routes package uses extended route file names. In addition to standard index, route, page, layout names, any files that have an underscore prefix will be treated as the route file. This will make it easier to find a specific route. So if we rename the file route.tsx in dashboard underscore index files in let's say just main.tsx and then if we head to the browser we can see after refreshing that the dashboard goes away however if we put underscore in front of the main right we can go back to the browser again and after refreshing the page we can see that the dashboard page is showing again. So when you use Remix Flat Route package, you may use underscore to denote your route files. We let's go ahead and just rename underscore main.tsx to underscore route.tsx to follow our convention. Underscore will put the file in the beginning of the list, so it will be easier for us to find it if there are many files in the folder. I hope you got the idea of how to refactor route files in the nested folders. Remix Flat Routes package calls this approach hybrid routes. Let me pause the video and refactor the rest of the dashboard routes. After refactoring, your dashboard folder structure should look like this. We basically refactored every bit that is separated by the dot in the file name to a folder with underscore route.tsx as the route file. Besides hybrid routes, Remix flat routes package also enables you to nest folders with a flat files convention. You can create a folder, but treat it as a flat file. All you need to do is append plus to the folder name. We can use this convention for auth routes. Let's collapse the dashboard folder and in the routes, folder, we're going to create a new folder and we'll call it underscore auth plus. Now let's take underscore auth.tsx file and move it into auth plus folder. Now let's rename underscore auth.tsx file into underscore layout.tsx. After that, we're going to take underscore auth login that csx and move it into auth plus folder and then we also take auth register and move it into auth plus folder as well now we're gonna rename auth dot login that csx file into just login that csx and then underscore auth register we're gonna rename uh, to register that csx so we collapsed our auth routes under auth plus folder. And since we added plus, these files will be treated exactly as they were just the flat files. Let's head back to the browser and check if our login page and register page still work, and they still do. And this is how you can use folders to organize your routes in the Remix project. And I think this is organization is more maintainable and easier to read. Remix Flat Routes package can give you even more options when you need a nested folder structure for your routes. 
So take a look at that package. Also, if you want to learn how to use route file naming in Remix, check out our video about Remix route files. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.